They used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. Good morning. Welcome back to Crazy Joe's Concession Stand. I'm Crazy Joe. We are back at the Regal. And I'll tell you, we're here to see Kevin Smith's latest film, the 430 movie. And they're not making it easy. This movie just opened uh, this weekend. It's Sunday. It opened on Friday. And the movie's only playing at like two theaters in the area. Only two. And only one of them is a Regal. And there's only two showtimes a day, both early in the day, for one week. And then as of Friday, it's gone. So... Uh, these showtimes don't really work with my schedule, but my wife said, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. I don't like to go to the movies if the kids are uh, alone, alone. I don't like to go alone if the kids are awake. I like to wait until they go to bed, but it is what it is. I better get inside. They're playing some pretty loud Beatles music. Let's go check out the fourth movie. By the way. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm, I used to be a huge Kevin Smith fan. I was an extra in Chasing Amy. I'm actually in Chasing Amy. And I haven't really liked Kevin Smith's movies. Probably since Zack and Miri. Zack and Miri was like the last one I really enjoyed. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, the trailer looks promising. Let's go. All right. I think we're going all the way to the back. Like I said, I used to be a big fan of Kevin Smith. I've seen most of his movies in the theater. I think Tusk and Yoga Hosers are probably, the, and well, Red State. I don't think Red, did Red State have a traditional theatrical release? I don't think it did. I think that was like, I don't know. I think he had like a very unconventional release for that one. So yeah, Red State, Tusk and Yoga Hosers are the only three Kevin Smith movies I did not see in the theater. I saw all of his normal View Askew films and Jersey Girl, Zack and Miri. I was an extra in Chasing Amy, but, you know, Jane Silent Reboot, Jane Silent Bob Reboot was just horrible. <laughs> just absolutely horrible. Look at this. Am I racist? A comedy to DEI for. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. How do I know? It's from the Daily Wire. If your movie's from the Daily Wire and you're asking the question, am I racist? Yeah, you are. Uh, but here we go. Theater 19, the 430 movie. Now seating for 640. When real life sucks, real life rules. All right, so Kevin Smith's last two movies, uh, Jane Silent Bob Reboot and Clerks 3, have not been his best work. Uh, Clerks 3 is moderately better than Jane Silent Bob Reboot, which is pure garbage, but hopefully this one's better. We'll see. Well, according to the mobile app, I am literally the only person who bought a ticket for the 430 movie. So maybe that's why there's so few showtimes. To be fair, I don't think a lot of people know about this movie. I don't think it was marketed very well. But as of right now, and we do have some time to go, someone could still buy a ticket. The movie doesn't start for another 15 minutes. And as we all know, these movies never start on time. There's going to be a half hour of trailers and commercials. So there's still time for someone else to buy a ticket. But... If this holds, I'm having a private screening of Kevin Smith's new movie, The 430 Movie. So this will be interesting. All right, we're back. We're going to talk about Kevin Smith's The 430 Movie, a movie that is very difficult to see. It is not playing in a lot of theaters. The theaters that do have it have very few showtimes. You have to be a devoted Kevin Smith man to uh, get out there and see this one because... They're not making it easy with the show times. They're really not. But, look, full disclosure, I'm an old school Kevin Smith fan. I saw the original Clerks in the theater in January of 95. Movie came out in the fall of 94. I was a little late, but I did see it in its initial theatrical run. It just wasn't until the new year. And I've seen almost every Kevin Smith movie in the theater since. Now I'm gonna put 
a little asterisk next to that. Let's say I've seen all Kevin Smith's comedies in the theater because I did not see Tusk. I did not see Red State. And Yoga Hosers, I don't know what you call that. Is that a comedy? What? I've still never seen Yoga Hosers and I've never heard a single good review. I haven't heard anyone say they like Yoga Hosers. One of these days I'll watch it. Watch, I'll probably love the movie. I don't know, everybody hates that movie. Uh, I do own it. I do own it. I got the Blu-ray at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I own it for, for a buck on Blu-ray. But the 430 movie is a movie that Kevin Smith shot in the movie theater he owns. Smodcastle Cinemas. He bought it a couple years ago. And it's a working movie theater. He has an apartment above the movie theater. So when he's in town, he can like sleep above his movie theater. And uh, I've been there. I've been to Smock Castle Cinemas. Didn't see a movie. But if you go over to the Crazy Joe Adventures channel, about a year ago, Adam the Woo and I went and kind of looked at the Kevin Smith filming locations. And we went by Smock Castle Cinemas. So check that out. I'll try to put a link there. It's over at Crazy Joe Adventures, not this channel. But he has a movie theater at his disposal. He decides, hey, let's shoot a movie at the movie theater and the movie he makes is the 430 movie it's about a teenager in the 80s who is obsessed with movies and he spends all his time at the theater just sneaking around from theater to theater trying to catch all the films and he has a girl he's got a crush on he's been trying for a year to get up the courage to ask her out finally asks her out says meet me at the 430 movie hence the title and that's basically the premise. It's a coming of age story set in a movie theater. It's got a little bit of a love story and it is very much a film for people who love movies. It's very devoted to the movies. The characters have a great love of movies. And like most of his movies, excuse me, Kevin Smith, like most of his movies, the main character is basically a stand in for Kevin Smith. Uh, that's, you know, Dante and Clerks, I guess Brody maybe <laughs> in Mallrats. Kevin Smith always kind of some lawn work going on across the street there. Kevin Smith always kind of all his movies are very personal, self-referential. He has a heart attack, so then Randall has a heart attack in Clerks 3. You know, that's kind of the way he works. He worked in a convenience store. He makes a movie about people who work in a convenience store. He's very much into making movies about what he knows. Sometimes with Clerks, it works. Sometimes with Clerks 3, maybe it doesn't work. I thought Clerks 3 was kind of a downer of a film. I don't really like Clerks 3 that much. And to be honest, I haven't liked most of Kevin Smith's output in recent years. I hated Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. I thought Clerks 3 was better than Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, but that's not a high bar to get over. And to be honest, I was worried about the 430 movie. I thought, well, Kevin Smith has not been at his best in years. This is a perfect example of what Quentin Tarantino was saying, because Quentin Tarantino said he wanted to stop after 10 movies because filmmakers do not get better as they get older that's Tarantino said that and Kevin Smith kind of seemed to be a shining example that maybe Quentin Tarantino was right because Kevin Smith went from being really good in the 90s to not so good in recent years but I'm happy to report that the 430 movie is the best movie Kevin Smith has made Probably since Zack and Miri. That was 2008. I don't think he's made a movie this good since Zack and Miri. And I think this is a better movie than Zack and Miri. This movie has a lot of heart. There's a lot of heart in this film. It's funny. It's not, it's not hilarious. It's not like the funniest thing you'll see all year. But it is funny. Honestly, it's, it's the heart that carries the film. These characters are likable relatable if you love movies you kind of you kind of can get into their heads a little bit uh 
I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed the 430 movie. And it's a shame. Because like I said, it's not really out there. You really got to search for a showing of this film. So in a way, the best film Kevin Smith's made in years is going to be one of the films that the least amount of people probably see, which is unfortunate. I dig this movie. If you're a Kevin Smith fan, I think you'll dig this movie. I recommend the 430 movie, and I'm a little surprised to be saying that after his last few films. I'll also throw this out to you. Look, I don't want to disparage anyone who... Uh, who uses, um, you know, marijuana, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But Kevin Smith did not until he met Seth Rogen and they made Zack and Miri together. And I feel like almost every film he's made since has been subpar, possible exception of Red State. But he hasn't made a really great movie since Zack and Miri. About a year ago, he announced... He was going to stop using drugs. And he makes this. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Were the drugs holding Kevin Smith back? Is he able to make a better movie now because he quit? It's possible. It's worth discussing. I mean, look at his output. Look at what he made prior to 2008. Look what he made since 2008. I think there's an argument to be made that laying off the drugs helped Kevin Smith make a much better movie. So that's my thoughts. The 430 movie, if you can find it, check it out. It's out now. I recommend it. Till next time, keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone to me. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas Keep on wearing those pajamas Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done